Hey guys, welcome to the Wild Side, and this week I find myself near some iconic Texans. Well, let's hook them this week on the Wild Side with the Cross T Ranch. Hey guys, welcome to the Wild Side, and here I am with three Texas Longhorns. Look at the most iconic species of animal you think of when you think of the great state of Texas. Now, a Texas Longhorn can grow anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 pounds, with a horn span of up to 7 to 8 feet wide. Now, these animals are iconic, but sorry Texans, they're not originally from Texas. In fact, historically, this species originated in the Canary Islands, which is controlled by Spain. They were shipped over to Mexico, and the U.S. government paid for the first herds of longhorns to be brought into the United States. Why would they want these animals? We already had cattle. Why the longhorn? Because this animal can survive any condition. Drought. They are drought-resistant creatures, going very, very long periods of time through the Texas scrubland, with no water needed. Simply getting water out of the food that they eat, which could be anything from cactus uh, to grazing grass uh, to anything on the ground, they are resistant animals and they're very, very hardy. Taking this hot Texas summer heat year in and year out. Plus with those big horns, they're pretty good at protecting themselves. Now here in the state of Texas, we don't have a predator that could really take down a Texas longhorn. But even if you were to put the longhorn up against that of the grizzly bear or the wolf in North America, their defense mechanism up top would take care of all that business. I mean, just look at these giant horns that are swinging near my head right now. Those giant horns might look formidable, but they're very hollow. That's the big difference between a horn and an antler. Horns are attached to the skull and they grow with the animal to a certain size. But an antler, well, they drop off each year and then the blood rushes through the skull to grow that antler out. Some species of deer grow them twice a year, some species once a year, but this longhorn, well, he's stuck with this set right here. Now these animals can live 20 to 25 years old, and a lot of Texas ranchers that have them, well, they're not growing, they're not raising them for eating, they're raising them for, well, big lawn ornaments, making Texas iconic scenes. But if you had to eat a longhorn, I am told the meat is very stringy and tough because of the diet that they eat out in the South Texas bush. Now the Texas longhorn is iconic and you can gig them and you can get your guns up, but the folks in Austin, well, they like to hook them. And the Cross T Ranch is an amazing organization that not only brings these animals to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, but to different events all around the state of Texas. So if you're looking to add a little Texas flair, Call my friend Russell over at the Cross T Ranch, and these guys will hook you up with some amazing longhorn steers and make your next event feel, well, deep in the heart of Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have once again found myself in a position I didn't think I'd ever find myself in. So please click subscribe right here on YouTube to the Wild Side, and make sure you show this video to all your family and friends and tell them that these YouTube videos, well, they're bigger here in Texas. For myself, my name's Clay, and with Russell here, Signing off saying, stay wild, find your wild side, conservation rules, and we'll see you in a few weeks when we highlight yet another of your favorite species. Until then, I'm told uh, these are rideable, so let's go right off into the sunset, Texas style. <laughs>